Hello, prayer warriors. We have an exciting video today from Father Chris Alar. Father Chris is a well-known theologian and has many, many, many of videos available on the internet. I think this short six minute video will help in our quest to receive salvation and have everlasting life. Yes, we're in a huge battle right now between good and evil, but I believe and have faith that Jesus helps us in so many ways that the victory truly is ours. Jesus told St. Bernard, honor this wound with your devotion and I will grant you whatever, whatsoever you ask through its virtue and merit. And in regard to all those who shall venerate this shoulder wound, I will remit to them all their venial sins and no longer remember their mortal sins." End quote. Wow, that is so powerful. Now let's go ahead and listen to Father, Father Chris explain this in more detail. A second ago, that Jesus revealed that the worst of all the wounds was not the hands, not the side, not the feet, not the crown, not the scourging. Jesus said that the worst wound, he told us to burn it of Clairvaux and Padre Pio. The worst wound was on his shoulder because the wood on his right shoulder actually, can you imagine the slivers digging in? It wore the skin right off, tore the flesh right off and was rubbing against his bone. Sorry, I don't mean to be graphic, but I think we have to understand the depth of the passion our Lord went through for us. Both Padre Pio and St. Bernard of Clairvaux had a devotion to the shoulder wound of Christ, which is not recorded. Jesus said, man, it did not record my shoulder wound, but it was the worst of all. Jesus told St. Bernard, I quote, this is with the words that Jesus gave St. Bernard of Clairvaux. I had on my shoulder while I bore my cross on the way of sorrows a grievous wound on my shoulder that was more painful than all the others and which is not recorded by men. Honor this wound with your devotion and I will grant you whatsoever you ask through its virtue and merit and in regard to all those who shall venerate this shoulder wound, I will remit to them all their venial sins and no longer remember their mortal sins. Padre Pio once had an interesting conversation with Carol Voitia. You know who that is? John Paul. John Paul II. And he heard John Paul II's confession where he told him that someday he would become Pope. Now, we don't have the actual source of that, but that's been a pious tradition for a while. And supposedly, Carol Voitia, John Paul II, asked Padre Pio, which of the wounds caused the most pain of your stigmata? So here's Padre Pio talking to John Paul II. When John Paul II was just Cardinal Voitia. And Padre Pio's getting the stigmata over his whole body. And John Paul II asks him, Padre Pio, what is the worst wound of your stigmata. And he says, which one causes you the most pain? He expected Padre Pio to say his chest wound. But instead, Padre Pio replied, quote, it is my shoulder wound, which no one knows about and has never been cured or treated. Padre Pio bore that same horrific shoulder wound, but we never see it. Like Jesus, it isn't recorded. It was discovered later. This is fascinating. It was discovered later when they did one of his, they found one of his undershirts. And a big circle of blood stain was there on the right shoulder. This brother in the Franciscans, Modestino, asked Padre Pio to give him a sign if he truly bore Christ's shoulder wound. Then, that night, that brother went to sleep and he was awoken at 1 a.m. with a terrible, excruciating pain in his shoulder as if he had been sliced with a knife 
down to the bone. Now, he felt that he would die from this pain if it continued, and it only lasted a little short time. This is a brother of Padre Pio, not Padre Pio. The brother asked Padre Pio, how do I know you have this shoulder wound? And he had this dream. Then the room, he woke up, and the room became filled with heavily perfume of flowers. He felt Padre Pio's spiritual presence, and he heard Jesus' voice, this is what I had to suffer, my worst wound on the shoulder. And we don't even know about the shoulder wound. You know, St. Bernard of Claveau, right after this, wrote the prayer to the shoulder wound of Christ. And I used to pray this prayer before I came to the Marian Fathers every single day. I'm going to show it to you right now on the screen, and we're going to pray it together. But before I show it on the screen, this prayer, I, I used to pray every day, but then when I became a Marian Father, we had so many other prayers, I stopped praying it. I'm like, oh man, Lord, I, this is a sign. So let's put it on the screen. Let's have Brother Mark put, this is the prayer of the shoulder wound of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, loving Jesus, meek Lamb of God, I, a miserable sinner, salute and worship the most sacred wound of your shoulder, on which you bore your heavy cross, which so tore your flesh and laid bare your bones as to afflict on you an anguish greater than any other wound of your most blessed body. I adore you, O Jesus, most sorrowful. I praise you and glorify you and give you thanks for this most sacred and painful wound. I beseech you through that exceeding pain and by the crushing burden of your heavy cross to be merciful to me, a sinner, to forgive me all my mortal and venial sins and to lend me on towards heaven along the way of your cross. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow. If you're looking for a prayer to add to your daily prayers, it's not long. It's very short. We just did that in about 30 seconds. And nobody is praying in honor.